President Muhammad Buhari has approved the establishment of the first set of 12 pet fund centers of excellence, two in each of the six geopolitical zones of Nigeria. The first set of the institutions, which will focus on research and science-based disciplines, will be hosted by federal universities. The Director of Fiscal Infrastructure Development Tet Fund, Buhari Maikailu, said in a statement that those in state universities, polytechnics and colleges of education will follow in subsequent years. He said details of the operations and guidelines for the inaugural Tet Fund Centers of Excellence will be issued by the fund. In a separate statement, the Director of Public Affairs Tet Fund, Ngoba Briggs, said the organization is also sponsoring simulation, research and training centers in colleges of medicine. Joining us to weigh in on this is Dr. Dan Ekere from the Department of Philosophy, University of Lagos. Good morning and thank you for joining us on the news. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Is this exciting news or what would you term a long overdue um, announcement. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, uh, 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 ordinarily, this should be something we should celebrate because it is, it, it is meant to bring about innovations aimed at addressing challenges in the, in the state. The problem, however, is the same old issue of funding the first question you should ask, what are the universities itself meant for? Are they not research centers? How well are they funded? It is very easy when a challenge of this kind comes up, then uh, maybe, you know, bodies like this are established. In the first instance, there will be a lot of energy, you know, pushed into it in terms of resources and all the rest. But, you know, Along the line, we, we, my fear is that we might still go down to the same challenge that the Nigerian universities are having. You know, because it's all about funding, funding, funding. Funding has been is the issue. So how can we mitigate this from happening? Already universities, for me, are, are research centers. If they were, were funded, even the issue of opening new research centers within universities, call it, whether you call it a center of excellence, it doesn't make them excellent. It's a question of what you put into the system is what you may likely get. So how, what is the guarantee that they are going to be funded the way institutions or centers of this kind are actually funded all over the world? You know, so that is my biggest challenge. Then again, are you going to recruit the researchers from outside? Or they are the same persons within the system who over the years have been crying over, you know, uh, payments, shortfall and all the rest, uh, old areas and what have you? Is it the same people? So the, the, this creates a lot of challenge for me. It, it, are, it's always very interesting, very sweet to mention that we're establishing this kind of centers and they're going to do this. And at the end of what, look at our teaching hospitals. What are they meant for? You know, so for me, I, I, I think this is a, where it ordinarily should be a, you know, uh, a welcome development, but the government must be aware that you don't achieve anything by mere calling them centers of excellence. You can only achieve something where they are funded excellently. It's only at that point that you can get excellent results to call them centers of excellence. Um, if, if I'm to understand you, are you alluding that there, are, there was inadequate consultation um, with this, uh, because it looks like a duplication, uh, the funds could have been better put um, to already existing structures. Is that uh, what uh, you're saying? It is. The structures okay. on ground who actually produce what you are now looking for, that you are not calling research centers, centers of excellence. The fact remains that except you fund them adequately, they will remain the same way the universities have been over the years. We have research centers all, all this while, whether medical, you know, agriculture, whatever. The, those research centers have been there. How much have they been funded? How excellent have they been over the years? Have we not been relying on, you know, uh, foreign uh, funds, you know, for conferences and what have you? So that is the real issue. The government must look at it squarely and, and, and deal with it the way it should be dealt with. It's not just by creating research centers by name. 
right. research centers don't just come up by because you call them research centers. It doesn't turn into researches. All right, let's look at some other issues. Um, as one in the academia, how would you access our education system um, since the backdrop of quality output and in this uh, COVID-19 reality? The truth remains that uh, we have competent you know, scholars, scholars who can hold their own anywhere in the world, as a matter of fact, when we travel out, we compete outside, and we make you know a lot of impact. It's only at home because of the, the the environment that we'll be having challenges. So, if you want to know what the challenges have been and how to access whatever, the struggle of us is enough to tell you what the challenges with the with, with scholarship in Nigeria is. You know. So, uh, my worry is that. We must be sincere about whatever we are doing now and handle it the way they ought to be handled. COVID-19 seems to have challenged us as a nation as well as other nations, uh, but for us particularly to see the urgent need to invest and focus on research and learning, yes. how do we get to a point when that becomes a part of our education system, devoid of the copy and paste syndrome that has marred the education sector? <laughs> Truly, you, you know that even while the pandemic is on, there were claims by different persons over, you know, breakthroughs of uh, researches and the rest. How have they been received, actually? Because here, we see ourselves as people who, who don't like our own, who don't trust our own, that it must come from outside. The pandemic, the pandemic has shown clearly to the whole world that no man is an island. No one knows it all. And at the, at the same time, that you must ginger your own to be able to contribute meaningfully to the to the international you know space. So for me, it's good to look inward by by way of creating uh, these so-called uh, centers of excellence. But it goes beyond just looking inward. It's, it's a question of how committed you are to ensuring that these your centers bring about the result that you are looking for. So. It still boils down to the same attitude that has always been there, that has been challenging all manner of researches in Nigeria, which is about funding. We all must right. not you know, you know, begin to look at things from outside alone. We must show the same sense that others have given to their own to get the results they are looking for. Dr. Dan Egeri, thank you very much for sharing uh, your thoughts and giving us some insights to this development. Thank you. The pleasure is mine.